Welcome to Old Bird Gaming. My name is Tu, and I am the Old Bird. How are you doing today? Is this your first time at the channel? If it is, I'm an old guy who plays games. That's what I do. That's what I am, at least now. Sometimes I do some live stage material, but that's neither here nor there. We're playing a game called Emporium today, and this game supposedly is emotional. And the topic deals with some sensitive material. I don't know what that means, but it's a sensitive game. We're going to find out, though, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I hear this game is like pretty much a one-shotter. Like you can get through this game in... Oh, boy. Uh, analogies for personhood and for the self, the consciousness. Is there a great power in our thinking? I think our consciousness is a locked chamber. Uh, to think of the contents that, of that chamber as a perception that will thus seem... I don't know that word. And I'm an English major. An elocutably... An elocutably... An el ah, fuck it. Schlegelhofen private. And to think of our experience of the world as hidden, but hidden inwardly. Gary L. Hagberg. I don't know what that means. I don't know what this is getting towards. Oh. Hello. Uh, so dead person on the ground. I cannot do anything. I hear people talking in this in this ear. I don't know if you guys hear that. Oh. oh. Okay. I hit a button and I'm getting up. So, uh, is that me? Am I not dead? I thought that was just dead guy. And apparently it's not. Apparently that's me. Maybe it's me. Okay, yeah, it's me. What can I do? I can... Okay, I can run. I can't jump. I can just run. Alright. We're running inside this building. The building that is Emporium. Whoa! This is an interesting view. What is this? Oh, there's a thing. What is this thing? Uh, the black reads, Hiding place number 14. Okay. Or, the appearance of being organized. Hmm. Whoa, camera is weird. What's this? Uh, plaque reads hiding place number nine. Or body of water. The music is kind of dramatic. I I'm, I'm... Oh, there's another one. Okay. Hiding place number six. Or wooden masks. No, I don't want to read it. I don't need to read it again. I don't. I, uh, I hit the wrong button. I do that sometimes. I do that. Me being old, you know, my reflexes are not that good anymore. I don't know which buttons are what. I can't tell the difference between a triangle button and the A button and the. The Y button and the square X button. I don't know anything about that. What is this? All right. Um, I didn't place number zero. Oh, no description of that one. Oh, what is this? What exhibitor? Oh, that's a dude. What's up, dude? Okay, the boy did nothing, just looked up at me. Uh, there was a flicker of recognition, and I felt like a time traveler. He seemed unsure of what to say next. Oh, uh, oh, I have a choice. Oh, is this gonna, like, change the game? Is, are, are, are we gonna, like, 
have separating paths that go this way and that way and all the fuck? That's possible. I met my father only once. My mother raised me poorly. You know, bless her heart. I love her even though we don't really see eye to eye on a lot of things, but... And it was mainly because my mother gave birth to me when she was 18 years old. She didn't know how to be a mother. Nobody at 18 knows how to be a mother. So, yeah, she did raise me poorly, but I can't blame her. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Bug it. He spoke of our mother's violence. Our mother's violence? Her bitter disobedience, her claws. Oh, do I? I don't want to. I don't know if I. I don't know if I want to get in your trailer, stranger. I don't know if I want to. Did you promise me candy in here? Is that what's going on here? Oh, this could be bad. Nope. I don't know. I don't. I am shipwrecked this morning. Folded over into sorry waves. Water, water everywhere. Well, you have an entire ocean in your camper, dude. Uh, that is pretty goddamn impressive. I gotta say. Yo, if anything, this game, it seems sad, but... It's awfully poetic. Let's run down this little set of wood. Can I fall off? Won't let me fall off. I can't fall off. Okay. I have here a... Do I dive? I would hope I don't dive. What is that? I can't move the camera. What is that thing? Back over here. Go back over here. Oh, it's just a... That's an antenna or something. Okay. What is... Oh, the, um, oh, there's a guy. The guy again. Oh, he's tiny. I didn't see him. Oh, this is weird. I found myself busy in whispers with some kind of ocean. I didn't notice the boy by my side, staring out, counting the waves. In a rushed fluster, the boy tugged my sleeve and beckoned my ear closer. Child is only a child once. I'd like to try and drown. What? <laughs> what? Gee, wonder what I'm going to pick here. I mean, first of all, you don't have to try to drown. You have to keep from drowning. Drowning is not one of those things that you have to attempt to do. It's not like I'm going to force drowning on myself. This is a big task. I don't know if I can do it. Drowning is hard. No, it's easy. Um, a child is only a child once, and that is true. Well, maybe not so much, because I consider myself to have had a second childhood, and I know a lot of, a lot of other people who have too. So, but I get the point. The boy spoke of a newly hatched egg. The babe featherless, breathless and still. Ugh. Lost in some rotten tumble. Uh, 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 dead birds? Why are we talking about dead birds? I don't like discussion of dead birds. Since I am an old bird and going to be dead. Oh. That was not like that. That is a rather large building. When did... That got built during a conversation, I guess. Ooh. Oh, it's so ominous. Holy shit. It's really ominous. Almost... It, this game is just figurative. It's, it's... It's a dystopian figurative. It's so cool. Oh, wait, what's this? What do we got? Uh, 
Oh, there's you. Um. Hello, you in that window. Hope you're enjoying. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know what it meant to be young. Uh, watching vomit pool into the carpet around my mother's head. Oh. Too weak and beaten to lend aid. I watched her convulsions steady to a cold calm and laughed bulbous tears. Okay. So you've had an interesting life. I gotcha. You've had problems in your life. Unlike some people who've never had a problem in their life and think they know everything. Yeah, I know a lot of those people right now. Uh, let's go in here. Because there's nowhere else to go. I... I'm... Am I dead again? Nope, I'm alive again. There's a birdhouse. That wasn't there before. Yeah, what's in this birdhouse? Is this... Is, is this... Hello, birdhouse. The nesting box was no longer a home. I placed it here so the boy could listen for himself. That never-ending, inconsolable cry emanating from such a tiny hole, powered by impossible acoustics. I don't know what's going on. I, I hate to admit this, but I don't know what's going on right now. I mean, I think maybe the old man is the little kid. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know that. This is very... Oh! Well, this is different this time, isn't it? Uh, that one up there is the same. Both those are the same. This is different, though. What is this? The plaque read... Hiding place number eight or dinner with mother. So you seem to be doing a lot of hiding. You have interesting hiding places. Uh, the plaque red hiding place number 143, Jesus, or stationary. Am I? Is this kid just going through all the ways that he hides from something? From society? From his pressures? Uh, those two up there are the same. And Dude Again. What's up, Dude Again? Your name is Dude Again. I tried to remember what it was like to be young. Perhaps the boy would remind me. Perhaps it would make a difference. I can think myself invisible and being alone is part of survival. Well... I don't- I can't think of my- I can't think myself invisible. I think that's kind of a weak way out of things. Uh, rather... I think that's- it's more important to know that... Some- that being alone is something that everybody has to deal with and you have to grasp and embrace and um, get used to because it is a part of survival. So, I mean, not all the time. Obviously, you want people around you as much as you can, but you have to expect to be by yourself sometimes. He spoke of heavy, cold isolation, of crying into walls, and the bitter, dark stories they cried back. Uh, sounds like you need a professional help there, dude. Wait, or is that me? I, I don't know which I'm... I guess I'm going in here again. Um... 
I had a heady notion to flee. The sensation had come fast, and I found it intoxicating. I needed to vanish. And I have the void left in my wake and have the void left in my wake shrink up behind me. This is a very poetic game, it really is. Um, that's, is that a train wreck or is it just a dilapidated, dilapidated train station? Is my question. I wanna know. I wanna know the answers to this. So I, I am so tiny, I am tiny in this game. I'm always little bitty dude. It's, you can barely see me, I'm so little bitty. Tiny guy. Uh, I see. Okay, well there's the guy up there. I'm gonna go over here first. I don't get the impression that there are any collectibles or anything in this game like that, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm kind of getting an inside vibe from this, you know? It's like inside if it was isometric, but, um, okay, just go back. I don't think there's anything over there. Let's talk to the old man again, which it's weird because I'm the little boy, but the perspective of the game is coming from the old man because he's the one telling the story, which is kind of, kind of weird and kind of brilliant, but it's also kind of confusing. Uh, I once lent on this bridge ready to take myself over its barrier, hoping for one of the ancient locomotives to rattle forth and run me through. Why would you do that? I waited a lifetime before I realized all the trains had stopped running. It was in this waiting that I first met the boy. Anything can crumble in an instant and it to be still is to be peaceful. I don't know if I agree with that second one. You can be still, but not be peaceful. Definitely. But that is very true. Anything can crumble in an instant. Anything. I'm going to go with that. The boy revealed a dandelion from his pockets. Plucked earlier and kept for its beauty. Seeing it now, brown and wilted, I couldn't imagine it any other way. What? Why? Why floating trains? Hello, floating. Okay, I guess I'm going over here. There's a doorway under the floating trains. I, I know what's going on. I know what's going on in this game. I know. I've taken acid and I'm tripping my balls off. That's what's going on. Go in here. Floating trains. Come on! What kind of stupidness is that? Next thing you'll be saying is foxes or sluts in the furry fandom. Come on! Jeez! Um. This part almost reminds me of Fez. Uh, ooh, uh, okay. And. Old dude again. Okay, what do we got? Just the old dude. Just sitting there. Oh, well, there, here we go. My mother would abandon me for days at a time. While I would line up dusty, dead insects. All in a row like toy soldiers. And eat them one by one? What? Alright, kid. You're disturbed. I mean... There's disturbed, and then there's fucking disturbed. Dude. Did you not have any other food? What? What? 
Get a BB gun. Shoot squirrels for God's sake. Eat those. I had to do that for a while in my life. Actually, I had to hunt squirrels. Uh, me and my brother both. So we could have dinner. Ah, it's a crib. There's a crib. I can't help but think that the choices that I'm making are making the game different. There, there must be, there, there must be a lot of different outcomes of this game. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's see here, what's the crib? Nothing grows here anymore. The crib is a graveyard. Ah, uh, that's kind of kind of dark, kind of uh, depressing. I remember my crib. I actually do. I um, one of those people that actually can remember way, 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 way back, and I do remember my crib. I remember sleeping in it. Uh, this, oh, that's different. Those two are different. And... Hiding place number... 56. Or head office. Hiding in the office. Okay, what's this? Uh, hiding place number 23. Mr. Inv Invisible. What is that? It's like a guy just sort of cowering in his room. I did not. I didn't do that. Mm. All right, old guy. What you got for me? The boy looked ready for battle. His eyes darted, holding only to still me with a vicious glare. Pursed and tense, the boy seemed violent like never before. We can live forever. Are we going to die? Um. Ew! I think in a way it's possible for us to live forever through the memories, through the things that we do through the changes that we make in the world, it is possible to live forever. Are we going to die? Ah, I like this one. His sentiment was like a weapon. I felt it dig under my skin. There's nothing more terrifying than forever. Oh, I agree. I absolutely agree. Uh, I don't want forever. I especially don't want to live forever. Eh. No, 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 no. Unless I could choose. If I could choose when to end myself. Every horde click and clack is tattooed across my body. Every smell runs thick as oil down my arms and fingers. I am poisoned by industry and at mercy to that bend of my fleshy iron. Amazing writing in this game. Whoa. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm going up here now. Oh, the, oh, the office, a representation of the office. I see. So, Am I moving to a person's life here as they get older and now they're working and now they're a slave to work? Oh, hello, old man. What you got to say to me today? This is ridicule, I told the boy. This errant machine requires constant attention. No more will we mend and maintain. Let it turn to rust. The bones will scatter under their own weight. Let it carry you or abandon everything. Let it carry you. Let it carry you. The boy heard it too. That melodic automation of gears and guts. He urged me to engage, to find peace in that rhythmic human whisper. 
Yeah. That is a long hallway. Who would build such a hallway for no goddamn reason? Uh, what do I... Okay. Oh, and up we go again. Do we have a little window? Is there a winder? There's a winder. Thought there might be. Okay. What do you have to say? Ah, uh, these are like little bits and pieces into the life of... Ah! Is it calm where you are too? In this moment, I can't really remember anything else. I just hear my own voice counting down. Over and over. It must have been a thousand years already. Well, one thing I will give this game is it's very poetic. But I'm seeing here a person's life that wasn't pleasant. And... Uh... I don't know, maybe it's... Sort of a person revisiting his childhood or reviewing his life? Ah, gotcha. What is this? I don't know what that is. That looks kind of like an iron lung. They haven't used iron lungs for a long goddamn time. Uh, let's see here. What is this? This was a gift from the boy to me. A breath. A life. Inevitably, inevitably, I chose to ignore it. I think that is an old iron lung. Oh, man. It's like, I haven't seen one of those since I was a kid. That was a long time ago. They just, they don't use those anymore. It's crazy. Oh! My little museum is empty now! I guess they moved everything out! Because it was too goddamn depressing! So, it's all gone except the- Oh! Even the guy's gone! Even that dude is gone! Oh... What's going on here? This is like... The magical mystery trailer. I want to have a trailer like this. My life was built brittle, as if wooden, a simple toy. Without a full set, what remains will fragment. Ah! Ah! Going crazy there, are you? What's the house? It's a tiny little dollhouse. Oh, and it's opening up. Oh my, oh, I'm, I'm in here. Holy crap, okay. This is a rather artistic game. I don't know if I'm entirely getting the message here. I mean, it seems like a person's life, and it was a hard life. Mom? Is that you, Mom? And is that me in the cradle? What do we got here? The boy searched for me without luck. He did, however, find where I was keeping her. A wife in ruin, and ruin, and a mother to a ghost. He spoke aloud, knowing I would hear. She is strong, or you were weak. Ah. Uh, my mother was strong. I gotta give her that. So I'm gonna go with that. Just going with choices for my own life here. My wife's perseverance was enough to bring us both through. She became mother-like to me. Why did I resent this? No, not resentment. It was a burden. A parasite held in embrace. I can kind of understand that. Kind of. 
I can kind of understand how somebody would feel that way. I don't. But what's going on? I am not in control. I'm falling. Oh, is this? Wait a minute, what's going on here? It, did this just turn into an anime air battle? Oh, okay, no. Let's go. Weird, I, uh, okay. Like, pieces of tower and doors and fence and windows and... Oh, I thought it was gonna fall. I, I, I did fall. Wait, no, I didn't. What is that? Can I go in this door? Hello, door. No. All right, upstairs we go. I want my balloon. I like balloons. Give me my balloon. I have a right to my balloon. My balloon is no. 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 My balloon floated away. It's not fair. Fuck you, helium. Whoa! Okay! Uh... Not sure about this here! Mmm... What are we doing? Come on. Okay, we're going, it's the only place we can go. We're blocked off by mannequins. Oh, this is different. This is really different. I guess I'm going in here. I'm gonna assume there's no collectibles in this game. This is a, this game is an art piece, which I'm really, really happy that games are able to be art pieces now. Okay, we're going up here. And... Ugh. Am I running from something? Do I need to get away? Uh... Don't do that anymore. It's not good. It's not good and you can fuck yourself. Did you, did you let me out? I went out. I want- could you just get me out? Okay, what do we got? Yeah! Alright. Um... Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh no... Is this- There's no- there's nothing else. Is there? Is there any other thing in here? Do I have any other choice? See, this is... This is where I'm disagreeing with the game! There isn't- there's always another choice! Ah. There's nothing else here. Well... Absolutely disagreeing with the game here. There's always another choice. But... Here we go! Up. Oh, that's it. That's it. Wow. Huh. So... I can't get up again this time. Was that just a... Was that a person... Just going through their life in their head? On their way down? as they kill themselves. The import- the Emporium seemed the most fitting. 
Nearby retail expansions had left both my business and the building derelict. I'd often take my lunch on the roof during slow and sunny days, a quiet spot where no one would notice me. Yes, the Emporium seemed most fitting. I let my fingers and feet go numb as I wished the boy farewell. Okay, guys. Hard subject here. Uh... Yeah. Suicide is a stupid decision. I've said this many times before. You, you guys know this. It's a decision you have. In my personal opinion, in general, it's a dumb one. And people have said to me, Two, you can't decide whether or not you're depressed. No, you can't. But you do decide whether or not you commit suicide. And... There's no two ways about that. If you commit suicide, it was your decision, period, whether or not you were depressed. And if you are depressed, and you are wanting to kill yourself, I recommend that you seek help immediately. You seek help right away. I am in no position to make your decisions for you, but killing yourself in general is a stupid idea. And uh, the reason I say in general is because there are, you know, cases with, say, uh, terminally ill patients who simply want to end their suffering and take their own life and death into their hands. That I support. I think that that kind of suicide, I think that's justified. I think that's okay. If you're a normal person and you're having depression or you're not having depression and you just want to kill yourself either way because you don't have to be depressed to want to kill yourself definitely seek help I mean we're sitting here in front of these machines on our desktops that are you know a, a depository of all of the human knowledge ever collected you can find help you can find help you can get help things can get better and I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it will because I personally dealt with clinical depression when I was younger and I know how it feels don't think I don't I know how sometimes it feels like there is no other choice but there is don't think that there's no choice but to kill yourself because there there is another choice and that is not to kill yourself because it's stupid don't do it there will be better days even though it doesn't feel like it so just don't I don't have any right to tell you what to do with your own body uh, I don't have a right to tell anybody what to do with their own body but I think killing yourself is a stupid decision. I don't think you should do it. And if you feel like you're, you're tempted to do that kind of thing, then call someone. Call a professional. Call a hotline. And get help. That is my advice. Uh, but again, yeah, heavy subject here. So I'm afraid I can't leave this on a happy, smiling note, this one. But uh, guys, thank you for spending this time with me today. Uh, and I will see you all again in the next emanation. Until then.